channel so this particular video is regarding tifr gs 2022 some final tips about it because tomorrow is your exam and i hope you all have prepared well and you all are ready for the exam right so in this video i'll be talking about some important points which you should uh, take care of some uh, like thoughts which you might be having in your mind and how you can like maximize your probability of uh, going through the exam in a best way okay so these are the these are going to be the important point of discussion in this video some final tips just to relax you down just to relax your anxiety for the exam these things we are going to discuss in this video all right the first thing which might be in your mind is whether i have completed my syllabus or not okay so whatever i have studied is it enough for the exam so regarding this you should keep it this in mind that whatever you have studied just be very relaxed about it whatever you have done let's say you have done 50 percent of syllabus you have done 70 percent of syllabus that is well and sufficient enough okay just keep that in mind okay don't panic about the syllabus that i have covered less topics or i should have covered more because now you don't have time for that okay now don't study something new today all you have to do is just revise whatever you have done okay and tifr exam is not about covering more number of syllabus okay it's about how in, like how in depth you have knowledge of whatever you have studied let's say you have studied only 50 percent syllabus but still you have a detailed understanding of that 50 percent syllabus that is well and enough okay so just make that thing very clear in your mind that you don't have to cover entire syllabus 50 60 percent syllabus is enough to qualify for this exam okay to to do good in the exam that is the thing the second thing which might be coming in your mind is key uh, shall i give the exam or not okay shall i skip the exam because i am getting messages from students is yes, sir tomorrow is a tifr exam i have not prepared well so shall i skip it so see i'll tell you very like logically about it let's say you give the exam okay let's say you give the exam so in that case what is the probability of qualifying it there are two possibilities either you qualify or either you don't qualify so the probability of qualifying is 1 by 2 okay that is 1 by 2 or you can say 50 percent probability is there that you are going to qualify the exam but it is only when you are going to give the exam now let's say you are not giving the exam okay let's say you skip the exam okay let's say you skip the exam in that case this probability which was earlier 50 percent to qualify you have made it zero percent because you have not given the exam so you are not going to qualify it anyhow okay so don't decrease your probability of qualifying the exam this is just a technical way of making you understand that unless and until you face the exam you won't be able to understand that where you are actually how much uh, you have to prepare okay it's not like we say like uh, we say like this right Ki if we close our eyes it does not mean that the world is going to just like there is there is darkness around us it's not like that there is light around us we have to open our eyes and we have to face everything whatever is there around us okay so if you have filled the form and uh, whatever is the reason if you have not prepared also completely or if you have if any reason is there okay that is not going to make any sense just if you have filled the form you should go and attempt this exam okay you should not skip the exam so don't skip the exam okay i'll just write down don't here so that you don't skip the exam all right so don't think of skipping it uh, remember that it just take it as a uh, as a experience okay for the upcoming gate or csi net exam you will be able to understand uh, that how many questions you are able to do here or do you understand a particular question which is asked are you able to like identify it from which topic it is asked are you able to solve it a little bit or not okay so these all thing will be there if you give the exam so don't skip it all right the next thing is about today what you should do all the other things you should take a proper sleep you should take healthy diet okay so that you don't feel uh, like you should be healthy you should feel good when you are giving the exam okay one more thing which is very important is that this exam is common the question paper is common right common for integrated phd like i phd and for phd so that means the level of questions which will be asked will be uh, there in such a way that it takes care of those who have applied for integrated phd now integrated phd bsc qualified students apply for their msc like to get through msc plus phd 
and PhD entrants those apply who have qualified their masters. So the level of questions will be there in such a way that it takes care of both the types of students those who have applied for integrated PhD or PhD. So if you have applied for PhD you are here on a better side because you have already studied MSc you have understood the topics over there in your masters you know the topic so you have advantage of solving more number of questions compared to a person who has applied for integrated PhD. So I'm just telling you these things so that you feel ki yes you will be able to do good in the exam you should not skip that okay. All right now talking about the exam day okay during the exam what you should do. So during the exam you should keep few points in mind okay. So this is during exam okay. So during the exam. So here the first thing which you have to make sure is that you have enough time for the for this okay you have 40 questions and you have three hours that means 180 minutes and if you compare it with any entrance exam like CSIR net or gate there the number of questions are more and the time is everywhere 33 hours only so that means you have enough time to devote to a particular question like 180 minutes or 40 questions it gives you somewhere around like um, per question you are getting around four to five minutes okay so you have a very good amount of time to be dedicated on a particular question so what should you do you should read the question carefully okay read question carefully this is very important because the questions over here are more of conceptual so they will not be like uh, you just know the formula you put the formula you get the answer it won't be like that uh, they will be conceptual so you need to understand the concept you need to understand the question so first when you read the question carefully you will be able to understand what they are asking and once you understood what they are asking you will be able to apply your concept and once you apply your concept of course you are going to get the answer okay so read questions very carefully all right that is one thing second thing is he try to use the calculators or whatever the things are provided whatever data is provided look upon that because those will be required during that particular question okay so if a question is there some uh, data is given in that question so make sure that yes that will be used so keep that in mind okay and the next thing is key uh, avoid doing mistakes okay like avoid doing negative questions so read question carefully because the questions are conceptual and use given data okay whatever data is given uh, that data you should use the third thing which is there is to avoid negative marks okay avoid mistakes this is very important because here the stakes are little higher on the higher side so don't make mistakes do less number of questions that is fine but don't make mistakes like in the attempt of doing more number of questions just don't do wrong questions so that is the fourth point over here that uh, do those questions only which you are confident about okay so attempt confidently okay confident questions only so don't think that okay fine i'll be just giving it a guess don't make guesses over here okay because here you don't have that option like you don't have uh, that particular grace okay that you will be able to do some guess and you will get through it no so only do those questions for which you are confident about avoid making mistakes that is the most important thing which you have to make sure and you have to keep in mind the next thing which i'll talk about uh, is that uh, like don't go for doing more number of questions okay so don't attempt too many questions now of course you if you know everything then it is fine but if let's say you are thinking that i have done out of 40 i have already done 20 questions and now i will try to push myself and i will go for next 10 more or 5 more uh, so don't do that if you have done let's say 25 questions uh, and you have you have confidently done uh, done them then no need to do more questions don't need to make random guesses or no need to make wild guesses about them okay most important thing which you have to make sure that you are like following it throughout the exam and throughout from uh, now onwards is that don't panic okay so you don't have to panic about it in any way this is just an exam don't get panic about it give your best that's it okay and one last final thing which i will say is that whenever let's say there is a question and especially those uh, general aptitude or mathematics questions those questions are like bonus questions 
you will be able to get done and you will be able to get the answer of that in case if you are struggling with it you don't know how to solve it or you don't know the formula of it so this will be applicable on mathematics quotient mostly so i uh, try to use the the options which are given okay so let's say there are four options given right let's say there is a formula given and the options are given or some equation is given and for uh, and the uh, options are given so try to put those options in that formula and try to get the answer so that is called reverse uh, like reverse reverse method or you can say that it is a reverse way of getting to the correct answer so put the options in the in the question and then see that which option satisfies the equation so because you have enough time so yes you can do that so don't leave these mathematics or these uh, logic based questions okay these are like bonus so you'll get at least one or two from there and don't miss out those questions okay uh, many of you will ask what is the um, what is the number of questions which i should do and what is the safe number of questions to do for this particular exam so uh, the thing is that the safe number of question varies every year it depends upon the question paper okay uh, sometimes when the question paper is difficult even 20 questions are on the safer side sometimes when the question paper is easy then 25 26 question is on the safer side so uh, just make sure that you don't know what the, what is the level of question uh, what is the level of question paper but still you should do at least around 25 plus questions somewhere around that whatever i just said ki you should do all the questions which you are confident about if you are confidently doing 20 to 25 questions just stop yourself over there that is enough for it okay so that is a general tip which i just wanted to give it to you uh, all the best for your exam i hope you all will do well in your exam and i hope you all will qualify with shining stars so i will see you guys on the other side till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes you have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the Unacademy Plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.